Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you my minky plush collection of Australian working dogs. I have two kettles, three border collies and four kelpies. If you hadn't guessed already, I love this brand. Okay, so you would have seen me unpackaging Petrana. She's the newest. So you probably saw my video of her, me unpackaging her. But anyway... I have Montcrief. He is the smaller version of the cattle dog. There's two other versions from him, which is Montford here, and there's also one bigger than Montford. I think, uh, I'm not sure how big he is, but I know he's bigger than Montford. So, Montcrief is the smallest out of the lot. You can see he's got his black patch on this side of his face and his ear is black. His tan paws and his grey pelt like a cattle dog. And he's a bit lopped now. You can kind of see he's a bit lopped. He's not as soft as he used to be because I've loved him too much. So his other, I love the way one ear is black and one ear is grey. I just think that's adorable. So that's Montcrief. They all have odd names except for two. This is Montford. He's a bigger version, the next size up from Montgrief. So he too has a black ear and black patch on the side of his face. But unlike Montgrief, he has a tan under his chin here and up next to the, or down below the black. And he also has a tan marking on his chest which I think is adorable he also has ears for tan paws like Montgrief he's newer as you can kind of guess that's what Montgrief used to look like he's really he's much softer than Montgrief that's what Montgrief used to look like before I loved him to death <laughs> but yeah, that's Montford this is Milana I got her in the same shipment as Montford and Milliford yeah, this is Milana. She is the second biggest version. There's one bigger than her as well. So yeah, she's a border collie, obviously. She's got a really fluffy chest. I just love her fluffy chest. And she's got a fluffy neck like border collies do with the white sort of marking around her neck here. I love her white tail tab. I love her white tail tip, oh my gosh, it's so awesome. And you've got her white legs like Border Collies, and her fluffy bum. She's got a really fluffy bum too, just like Border Collies I suppose. But yeah, she's really fluffy and she's really soft. Mostly because I haven't loved her to death like a few of the others you're, you're about to see. So, Milana. This is Millicent. Or Millicent. She is the smallest, obviously, of the Border Collies. She's got a white tail tip as well. She's got white markings on her face. And her white chest, white all furry. And her white legs. I got her in the same shipment as Petrov, which we'll see in a minute. So, yeah, that is Millicent. She's looking a bit love now too. I got her last year. This is Milliford, which, as I said, I got in the same shipment as Montford and Milana. Milliford is super soft still because I haven't had him for too long. I got him in January. So he's got. He's also got a white tail tip. His white face, white marking around his neck, and his fluffy white chest with his white legs, his paws, and oh gosh, it's really soft. This. Really nice and soft. I love it. You got Petrana, the newest. This is the one that she would have seen me unboxing or unpackaging because she wasn't actually in a box. So I got her from eBay. So she is really super soft. I've only had her for about a month, I think, because I got her on the 6th of April. So she's absolutely adorable and I love how her eye dots are different shapes. It just makes her look really cute. So 
So all the Kelpies have a tan muzzle, tan eye dots, lots of ear hair. I love the ear hair. Tan paws and an upside down triangle marking on their chests. Hers is actually white because, as I said, she hasn't been loved as much. And when you put her in the sun, she actually they actually put a really nice shiny material or fur. It's really nice. So that's it for Trana. This is my second oldest Trish. As you can see, she's been a bit more loved than Patrona. She's the skinniest, I think. She looks skinny. I love Patricia. I actually got her from the Australian Geographic when they used to sell them. They don't sell them anymore, which sucks. But I actually got her because her ears turned backwards. And I just think that is so adorable. I wanted the whole box of them. There was a whole box of them there, and I wanted all of them. But I saw her with her ears backwards, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I have to get her. So, she's got eye dots as well. She's got the most even shaped eye dots of the four, except for Pete. And so, she's got a tan muzzle, and she's got a bit of an upturned muzzle. I love I think she's so cute. She's got a wider, fatter sort of upside down triangle marking. And she's got her four paws, four tan paws, in her tail. You've got, over here you've got Pete. He was my first Kelpie that I got. Which I'll be telling, telling you the order that I got them in a minute, and where I got them. So this is Pete, that's Patricia's brother. He, so he, he was the first Kelpie I got. He's got the thinnest tail out of, out of a lot of them. He's got these even shaped eye dots. It's all roughly even. He's got his brown muzzle. His triangle shaped marking. And his little cute paws. It's Pete. Named after Pete from Warehouse 13. If you're a Starfire fan, I am. And I named my animals after people or actors or the characters on sci-fi shows. Lastly we've got Petrov. It's a Russian name. So he's a, apparently a Russian Kelpie. Long story but their family's a bit weird. So he's got I love his ear hair. It just sticks out everywhere and it's so cute. So he has a bit of uneven eye dots. He's got a big fat eye dot here and a thin eye dot here and I just think it's so adorable. So, as I said, is they've all got the tan muzzle, muzzle, sorry, and the tan paws, and he also has a, he has a smaller triangle, and a bit of a wonky triangle shaped mark on his chest, and I love, he just looks so cute from above, oh my gosh, then, then you wouldn't guess that I love this brand, but okay, so, if I can get, He's from the Minky Plush brand by Tom Foolery. Well, the company's called Tom Foolery, and they're from the Outbackers range, which also includes things like collars, uh, Australian animals, everything. Okay, so Mon Moncrief was my first. Uh, my friend, or well, I picked him out, and my friend bought him for me for my birthday. Oh, sorry, it's my dogs. Far out. So I got him from the Australian Geographic. He was my very first. Then I got Pete from the Australian Geographic as well. And then I got Patricia. So they all came from the Australian Geographic when they sold them, which is where I first saw them. You've got Montford. Sorry, uh, sorry. The next ones I got, sorry, were Mil Mil <laughs> Militant and Petrov. I got them from a shop on at eBay, or on eBay, sorry. So I got them together uh, last year, I think. So yeah, I've got Millicent and Petrov. Then in January this year, I got Montford, Milana, and Milliford from the same place. So I got these two. There was a bit of trouble with their post. It kind of got lost in the mail, it was really odd, but um, it took about two weeks for it to come from Victoria. It was just 
really really odd but I eventually got them and oh my gosh I'm so glad I did because I love them and last you got Patrana she came from a place in the on the Gold Coast also from eBay uh, called Stuffed with Plush oh my gosh there's so many plush toys there if you collect plush toys or if you love them even if you're an adult you should totally go there because oh my gosh I want all their plushies so yeah that is my collection of Minky Plush Australian dogs hope you like them all